Hello everybody, it's Thursday, so that means it's demo day here at Now You're Cooking. Tonight we are making um, sea trial um, beer steamed mussels, and this comes from Bath Brewing Company, and we have Courtney here, who is the general manager of Bath Hi. Brewing Company, and she's gonna talk a little bit about the beer, but I'm gonna get this stuff going first, and then we'll chat. Um, so the first thing that you wanna do is buy your mussels. And main local main mussels are probably the best. Rinse them in cold, fresh water, and they should close up. If you have any mussels that are not closing up or any mussels with cracked shells, throw them away. You don't want to eat those. Once you do that and you kind of rinse them off, get any mud off them, you might notice that there are some that have a beard. This is called a beard. And you want to take that off if you can. Usually they'll just pull right off. Most of these look pretty clean. Um, there are a couple that are starting to open up, but they were closed when I rinsed them. Um, and I'm gonna put these right into my beautiful Le Creuset eight quart. This thing is amazing. Um, eight quart oven, which looks a little big for this amount of mussels, but it's, um, it's just an amazing uh, unit to work with. Um, so then I'm going to add my liquid here and I'm going to open the beer, which is warm. So hopefully it doesn't spray all over me a little fuzzy. Remember cold beer, cold soda, cold seltzer water will not explode on you, but warm fizzy stuff will. So if you keep your seltzer in the pantry, that is when you tend to have the big messes when you open it up. I speak from experience if you can't tell. Um, the other thing is if you have a soda stream, you always wanna make sure you use cold water for your soda stream for the same reason. So there is a cup of sea trial cream ale. What is a cream ale? So cream ale is basically a very light American beer. Um, doesn't have a lot of hops to it, doesn't have a lot of super heavy body. It's very easy drinking, very light. Um, typically low in alcohol too. So ours is a 4.5 ABV alcohol by volume. And then another fun fact or fun term is IBU, which stands for International Bitterness Units. And it's usually out of a scale from zero to 100 in the beer world where the higher it is, the more hoppier it is, the more bitter it is. And ours is only at a 16. So this is very light, very nice. easy drinking, which is nice. Yeah, well, we made these um, adding some onions and thyme. We made these for um, our Le Creuset reps when they were here a couple of months ago, and they loved them. Um, and it was nice because we got to try them too, and we found that they are really light. They're not super beery, so you can easily drink a glass of wine with this. You, don't, you don't have to feel like you're, you're stuck drinking beer with your muscles just because they're cooked in beer. Um, so there's garlic, and I'm going to put in a tablespoon of olive oil ish maybe a little bit more um, mussels oil beer onion garlic thyme bay leaves and these are a little old so I'm just putting in four small ones um, and that's it I'm gonna turn the heat up on high and put the cover on and that is gonna come to a boil and it's gonna um, cook the or steam the mussels um, it usually takes about three to four minutes once it's boiling. Um, you don't want to really overcook them or they'll come out kind of rubbery, which is no fun. You don't want to undercook them either. You want to make sure um, when they are done, all of the shells will be open. Any that don't open, again, just discard them. You don't want to eat them. So to go along with this, I am going to do, if I turn on the right burner, I'm going to grill a little bit of bread. This is also... Um, a new item from Le Creuset or a revisited item from Le Creuset. It's a little grill pan. They also make a griddle pan. These are on sale for $99.99 and they're awesome. They're just a really nice small size, easy to store. Um, but as you'll see on our bread, it's going to give us a really nice grill marks. Um, you could do burgers on here. You could do steak, all kinds of things. So if it's a really rainy day like it is tonight and you don't want to be outside with your grill, here's an, another option. Um, so I'm going to let that get really hot and then I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil, just a little bit on the 
ridges here. And you don't want to use olive oil because it will, um, it has a lower burn point and it gets really kind of sticky and smoky um, as you're cooking. So we're going to let that get hot. That is heating. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to put one on there without anything. And I'm going to put one on with a little bit of oil brushed on. Um, and you can do it either way. This is a little bit of olive oil mixed with a little bit of avocado oil. Again, I don't want to use all olive oil because, um, because it tends to smoke at a much lower temperature. Um, and just toasting it is nice. Um, this is a kind of a stale bread. Um, so toasting it will just kind of crisp it up and make it, make it taste a little bit fresher. Um, so that is going. That's on high. That's on high. I'm going to just take a peek. Yes, that is sizzling away in there. So it's coming along nicely. Um, so what's happening at Bath Brewing these days? Do you guys have any new menu items? or? Yeah, so we recently uh, revisited a lot of stuff on our menu. Um, we still have some great pub fare. Some of the classics, like our burgers, are still on there. Uh, we have some more seafood options on there as well. My favorite right now is a rosemary encrusted garlic uh, salmon that Ooh. we're doing. It comes out um, medium temperature, so you got some of that nice, like, a little pink in there, which yeah. is really good. Um, but we're really, like gearing into our sliders. We started off with our short rib, which was our um, our staple for the first few years that we were open, and now we've really branched out. And we have like a mushroom and Swiss slider, we have um, a crispy chicken slider, French dip, uh, Philly cheese steak, and people are just loving them fun. up. Like we have the bigger sandwiches of everything else as well, which has been fun, but yeah. just, you know, little snacks on the go if you're interested yeah. in that. So if you just want a beer and a little appetizer. Yeah, sounds really exactly. Good. But this summer has just been crazy for us, so yeah. we're happy to be downtown. Yeah. And it's been really that. busy this summer in Bath it in has general, been. and I think all, all along the main coast, which is great after last year with COVID. It's really exactly. nice it's to see. It's been very helpful. Have the tourists it. back. <laughs> I know it's crazy because we're, um, we just brewed our Oktoberfest, actually. So that'll be coming out in September. We're very excited to have that one come back. It's always been a, a fan favorite of ours at the pub. So if you haven't tried that yet, it's definitely worth a try. What makes it special? For Oktoberfest. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's just this great malty beer. Peter, our head brewer, he does a, has a great recipe that he's um, really just perfected over the past few years. And um, it's just well, warm enough that it's welcome you into the fall. Yeah. Without, like, feeling too sad about leaving summertime, which yeah. is nice. nice. So. Oh, it's a good transition. <laughs> it's a Go great get transition, some Oktoberfest dear. beer so that you'll be happy about fall. <laughs> um, I'm just going to look at my toast here and see what's happening. Starting to get some grill marks on this one, not as much. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to quickly look at my muscles here. And they are getting close there most of them are open but i'm just going to let it go a little bit longer um and then what i'm going to do is take the mussels out and put them in another pan to stay warm and i'm going to add some butter to the sauce to kind of emulsify it and make it um just a little more special um and we have beer we could drink some beer with these if we wanted to Next week we have, um, oh, next week we're doing a Dutch baby, which is the giant pancake, um, not pancake popover, those like are a my giant favorite. Do you love those? <laughs> I love those. <laughs> and we're going to make some homemade lemon curd, which is mm. our friend Amy's. Um, and if you haven't seen on Facebook, Amy just completed her 20th year of, of working here, of employment here. So we're really proud to have her and, um, we're looking forward to 20 more. She's not, but we are. Um, so um, anyway, so the lemon curd is Amy's recipe, and it's really, really delicious, and it's pretty quick to put together. So we'll be making that next week. And then the week after, I believe we have Steve Corman back from Venus Fizz House, and he's going to do hopefully some mocktails and some cocktail, a mocktail and a cocktail. So for anybody that can't do or doesn't want to do alcohol, um, we have that option as well. So our muscles, if you want to come in here, Heather, you can see 
They're all opened up um, pretty much. And I'm gonna scoop them into this other pan along with their onions. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of heat on under them um, just to finish steaming any that are maybe aren't quite open and also to cook up the rest of the onions. And my bread is smoking. That's always a good sign. We'll take it as a good sign. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. And thank you, Heather, because I had forgotten about them already. I have a very short-term memory. Okay, so I'm going to leave the sauce in here. And normally, if I didn't have a bunch of people watching me, I would probably let this boil for about maybe another five minutes or so. Put just a tiny bit of heat under that. Um, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and add my butter to it so you don't have to listen to me babbling for another five minutes. Um, and what I'm going to do is just, this is very soft as you can see, it's room temp. And I'm just going to put little bits of it in at a time. And it should melt in and emulsify. And I'm going to turn that down a little because it's very hot. Um, so it should emulsify and melt right in there. And emulsify means it's just going to get thick. Like when you make a salad dressing and you want the, um, the oil and the vinegar to kind of mix together. And it gets pretty thick. And that is butter in hand. And I'm going to turn that off. So if I waited a little bit longer on this, it would be um, a little bit more reduced. So you get a lot more of the flavor. Um, and I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to take my toast over here. And who wants mussels, Courtney? I sure do. So we're going to serve up some mussels here. So this is two pounds of mussels. You can do, you could double the recipe easily. Could even probably triple it if you wanted to. Um, and then we're gonna put some nice buttery juice on here. That top one doesn't have a mussel in it, I'm sorry. It's all right, plenty in there. There we go. And I'll give you some toast. So you can see um, both of them toast beautifully, whether you put the oil on them or not. You don't need the muscle beard there. <laughs> There's that. And some parsley. And you're all muscled. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank Isn't you. that <laughs> yummy? And it smells really good, and it's going to taste really mm. good. You don't need to eat it right in front of everybody. Um, so next week, Dutch Baby with homemade lemon curd. Um, the week after is Steve Corman, um, and we've got lots of fun stuff coming up all fall. We've got already have our schedule full, so lots of fun stuff coming up, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining us.